Yeah, I mean, I mean, just from a bus operator's perspective, the, the transport decarbonisation roadmap is absolutely essential. If, if we look at the, um, the DFT document, decarbonising transport, setting the the um, challenge strategy, and that was very clear. So public transport and active travel will be, will be the natural first choice for our daily activities. We will use our cars less and be able to rely on a convenient, cost-effective and coherent public transport network. Um, I think the work on the connectivity studies is, is revolutionary, where, where we're having a regular review um, of, of how we connect up our major hubs within the Heartland area. I think that's absolutely great. Um, I think as well we ought to, to see England's Economic Heartland as a sort of island and bridges approach, where, where, where bus operators will, will continue to work with local transport authorities within their local area. England's Economic Heartland very much has a, a bridging role to deliver on some of the big challenges we've got, particularly on things like ticketing, where, where, where the technology to make multi-operator, multi-modal ticketing uh, needs to work. There might be some infrastructure that's required across the job for that. And also, as we move to alternative fuels, the affordability of those fuels, so looking at hydrogen, for example, where there's a massive ambition in Oxfordshire to deliver on that, um, they're not afford as affordable as they could be at the moment. So again, uh, when we look to deliver as, uh, as, as, as we move towards zero emissions, and the ambitions to achieve by 20, uh, net zero carbon by 2040, uh, England's economic heart will have a role in trying to, to bring that together. And, and, and Bayes, for example, at the moment is looking into how we might make hydrogen more affordable on this journey. So buses already account for 56% of uh, all public transport journeys, but looking at taking a multimodal approach and the hierarchy that's in the strategy, you know, trying to promote walking and cycling first, um, and then coming on to, to, to public transport, whether it be bus, rail or whatever, and then putting the car after that is extremely welcome as well if we're going to meet the behavioural change that we need to.